Well, I'd never been into dogging myself before. But I've been dogging my whole life, see. Doug had always been dogging. One day I just said, come on, Karen, let's get into dogging. The benefits are, A, the fresh air, two, the exercise, and D, the wide variety of people you end up meeting. I finally relented and I said to Doug, I said, OK, let's do this, but if we are going to get into dogging, don't we need to get ourselves a dog? <laughs> she was right. <laughs> so we did. We got Alfie. And we've never looked back, have we? No. We're often out on the heath dogging with other couples. I try and go before work. And I like to go after work, but we do like to dog together at the weekends. You know, Alfie's changed our life. Yeah, he has, but... Uh, but... He's such a naughty little so-and-so. That he is. Karen woke up one morning to find a poo on a pillow. She kissed me good morning, turned over and came nose to nose with a turd. I thought Doug had left me a present. You know, one of those novelty poos, only covered in chocolate. Took one whiff and realised there was no chocolate involved. We'd served him a rabbit souffle with a spinach and dried biscuit topping the night before, but uh, obviously hadn't agree with him. No, but there were other problems involved. Yeah, I mean, his obedience wasn't good. No. And when I throw a stick, he's not interested. No. One of the reasons I bought a dog. I love throwing sticks. He's very good at it. So... Heard on the local dog Vine about a dog whisperer in the area and uh, we decided to go for it, didn't we? Yep, we did. And now we have Sylvia in our lives. Fantastic young girl. Sylvia's been with us for about a month now. Four weeks, two days, 17 hours. And she has transformed our lives. She's a miracle worker. I mean, she's, she doesn't speak a word of English, but uh, that, that, that doesn't matter because we can still communicate through Elfie. And he's so much better behaved, he's actually interested in stick throwing now, which, uh, you know, obviously I'm well chuffed about and... Uh, Karen hasn't had poop pillow for weeks. I'm telling you, it's as if Sylvia's become one of the family, if you like. Can't imagine life without her. Can you? Also, she is a corker to go early morning dogging with. <laughs>